tell him to bring out the lobster. Bro. All right, guys. If we keep beaming these bacons, then we just might oh, get that victory on. royale. Got him. Get hit him with it. Yeah. Anguish, you fucking retard. God, I fucking hate you. Fuck. You're so fucking useless, Anguish, it's actually crazy. As a matter of fact, I'd rather give an address to the nation and go over some stupid shit that I don't really care about than have to play another round with you. Fuck you, Anguish. <laughs> Niggas. <laughs> Jackson Clark. <laughs> Syrians. <laughs> Uh, Rosa Parks. Uh, 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 KKK colonizers. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Good evening from the nation of Bozo Stan and Bibi Yoy. I have a lot to cover in a short amount of time and short notice. So without any pictures from my phone and 3D effects, let's get right into it. The first bit of news is that Gopnik was found dead in his suicide trailer after failing to gaslight his slaves, that he is normal and not freaky. Although, you've got to admit, if I did what he did, then it would be pretty cool. I'm just saying. I do have a prepared statement to read about this recent event, and it reads as follows. You will go down in fake country history as Jeffrey Epstein if he was poor and ugly looking. The next piece of news is that I have dissolved Congress, not because of the threat that Futures Analytica and Robert E. Lee pose, because frankly, they're even dumber than anguish. It's because I find them to be extremely annoying, not even useful as a facade to make it seem like Bosostan is democratic. I also have medals to give out to a lot of people. These people have saved not just this great nation of ours, but the whole world from evil Yuri. We are eternally in debt to these brave heroes, not because of the rising interest rates from the National Bank, but I mean it in a rhetorical kind of way. The following people are Michael Collins, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin. Yeah, I Guess anglers can also have a medal. Actually, on second thought, no. He pisses me off. The next piece of news is that Crisis is a bitch for deleting the Roderick Embassy. He probably said some shit like, John America is so evil because he called me gay and retarded. Which, to be fair, I did because it's true. I wouldn't be saying that if IZK didn't pop a cap in his profile picture by posting pictures of nothing, but here we are. In response to a lack of a centralized server for all the retarded people to be in, I have started a joint initiative with IZK to remake J10. This embassy is called J20, and this time it's serious, I promise, guys. Up next, it is with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that Captain Cancer has won the escape from Tarkov banned off. Fortunately, I don't have to give him shit. And you know why? It's because I have nothing to give him. You see, my fellow Bozostanis, I regret to inform you that a new kind of warfare is being waged on us, a warfare of the economic kind. For starters, Futures Analytica just made all of the t-shirts from our sweatshops disappear, which accounted for 90% of our GDP. This has left the nation of Izakia in Dust Bowl-like conditions, and Bozostan in Hoovervilles. So nothing has really changed all that much. Also, I guess Crisis declared a total intrigue on us, or some gay shit. I don't really care, because he sucks. But I guess it's something to do. Besides, look at pictures of aliens with the virus. And finally, the whitey that broke the darkies buck. Futures Analytica instructed Spitom Fulsane Gasolini to invade the Okinawa Protectorate on the right bank of the Denegro River, which produces 90% of the world's fuel. On your screen right now is escaped footage from Okinawa depicting fake Gassy's forces extracting fuel from some poor bastard. 
I will probably stand idly by as acts of aggression carried out by Brown Gassy and crisis disrupt international peace. It is why I'm calling for a colored campaign against these weirdos on my computer screen to defuelify futures analytica. Subsequently, this also means I'm declaring double war against everybody I don't like. And to the new plus-plus ops of the America administration, I just have several things to say to you. You're poor and wrong. And you know why? It's quite simple, really. You know people don't lack you because you're a part of the invisible empire. You've seen people isolate you because you're a part of the invisible empire. And I personally will deliver the face-tastic truth of Nanking to all of you by calling you ugly through the computer screen. I'll have Anguish prove to you that horseshoe theory in the context of video games is real, and no day trading scam can prove me wrong. With the name Jackson Clark, I can make you obsessed, cornered, and afraid, like some kind of wounded animal. Go ahead, try to deploy your triangles, but by opening my eyeballs and seeing Y equals 0.01, I can send you back to the age of consent. And I know that you guys might not care, but I just made a fire-ass speech. This just goes to show you that the American administration, Kratos and Izakia, are the future of digital civilization. This concludes this week's broadcast. I'm gonna to have to find a game. Anguish doesn't have so I can actually have fun and not have to carry that incompetent faggot. This is John America signing off, and you know what they say? Give a virus an alien and he will M for a day. Teach a virus how to rape and he will M for a lifetime. Over and out.